So I've been wanting to do this recipe video for three, four years now. And I've never even done it actually. But I'm thinking if we can do a cheeseburger uh -huh. and the bread is a grilled cheese. Come on. So it's a grilled cheese cheeseburger. Yeah, boy. Let's get to the action. <laughs> so we do a lot of elevated <laughs> stuff on this channel, uh, but you know, it's, it's important to continue to play with your food, right? Uh, and a burger or a taco or these things are, are perfect opportunities. Uh, I love caramelized onions on darn near oh, everything. Heck yeah. Yeah. So they're, they're definitely going on. Um, and again, I've never made this. It's just in my head. So I, I want to get, I'll show you, let's show you the, the grill setup. Uh, cast iron griddle reversible so a two-for-one accessory here and then the grill grates and we're stabilized at what I say Nathan 400 yeah that sounds good 450 so let's get our onions kind of caramelizing in the back here and that leaves us some grill estate on this griddle to start working on our grilled cheese now the burger itself is gonna happen really quickly right we shape them we season them we grill them so let's focus on the grilled cheeses right now and then Get those onions caramelized, make a quick sauce. We're gonna slice open our burger buns and we chose thin burger buns because we are going to make grilled cheeses with these. So essentially we're gonna make four grilled cheese for two burgers. Now you see this monstrous chunk of butter I've got here. Well, I you, see that. Yeah, you gotta have butter for your grilled cheese, right? All right, now we gotta make up our mind here. Do we want do we want it to look like that for, for the bottom? I don't think, I think maybe like that. Diner style? Yeah, yeah. The round's nice as a burger top. Oh wait, for the bottom, yes, yeah. Right, this is, this is the oh, bottom. Oh, the bottom. Yeah, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, I was, so, so here's the bottom. Boom, 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 and we'll press that. And then the top, I think, so you still get the mouthfeel, will be that and that. I like it. Does that make sense? I like it. Yeah, so tops and bottoms. Good? Good. Let's go on with our butter. Because there's got to be a little bit of butter in a grilled cheese, right? Look at all that butter. And guess who's benefiting from the butter? The onions. And we're just going to let it drink up. Wow. Yeah, well, you know. Drink it up. So this isn't uh, <laughs> New Year's resolution food. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Unless your resolution is eat absolutely stunning and delicious, which it might very well be. It's mine now. That's but yeah, that's right. It should be everybody's. I'm running out of grill estate again, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use my tongs and just toss these little guys. And we're making progress on our onions here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh yeah. So let's, let's remember, this is gonna be the top. So let's go ahead and put some of our shredded cheese right there. Oh yeah. And that's our top. Okay, and that's a bottom bun. So I like that. I like that. I need a little more butter right about there for this. Just a little. Other bun. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And I want to put a little press on the bottom buns, not so much the top. Okay, this is great. All right, so these will return back to the grill here in a little bit, but let's push the pause button, bring them on over to the cutting board. Let's see, that's a bottom, and let's take a look at it. Oh, yeah. So that's a bottom, and that would be a top. <laughs> oh, yeah. We don't want to press that too much. Let's get our onions back engaged. And a little butter may have got on those too. I don't know. A little. Yeah. All right. Push the pause button on this guy. Buns, pause button. Onions, almost there. Uh, while those are finishing up, let's go ahead and build our burgers. Now I've got some gorgeous E3 ground beef here. This is 80-20. Now remember, you want to shape these uh, a little bit larger than the bun because you're gonna have some shrinkage that's gonna occur. Oh, that's a lot of beef. All right, so that's a whole pound. So we're doing half pound burgers here. And I, I can't help myself, you know. Let's, do it. Yeah, we gotta do it. So, a little, <laughs> little salt and pepper. Beautiful. 
All right, new glove back on. Let's get some cheese right in between these things because oh we're making Juicy Lucy's. All right. Not much. Let me put that on top. Remember when we talked about playing with your food? Yeah, it's yeah. true. You did say it. I never woke up this morning thinking we were going to do this, but here we are. Here we are. And you've got a great Juicy Lucy. And for all of you who aren't sure what the Juicy Lucy is, check out Matt's Diner in Minneapolis. It is literally uh, two burgers crimped on edges with cheese in the middle. And the, it's a big burger. Yeah, and the locals use a, a fry to lance it. It's the burger that bites back, okay? That's good there. A little bit of seasoning. Da, 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 da. Touch of oil on top of that. Da, 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 da. Now these are gonna be my presentation side, so I'm gonna put those down first. Let's transfer over to the, what do you wanna do, grill we grater? Go. Let's do, let's do grill. All right. Let's do grill. No pushing down or anything like that. Just hanging on, wow. grab the other one. Yeah, that's a serious burger. It is. All right. Onions are doing doing their thing. Now I'm going to shut the dome so we can capture some of the smoke. And as a, as the burger starts to render out a little bit, drip on the coals. Those drippings caramelize on the natural lump charcoal, and we're smoking the burger with its own drippings. Dang, couldn't get any better. Wow. All right. Lots of fun stuff going on here, but the grill's doing all the work. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Uh minute and a half. I don't want to over caramelize the bottom of those uh, those burgers or the presentation side. Onions are caramelizing properly. The smells fill in the neighborhood. I can I can feel people smiling even though I can't see them. This is good stuff. That's free advertisement right on. That, that, that's what's going on. So let's get these caramelized onions off. Let's go ahead and turn those burgers a quarter of the way. Another minute and a half and we'll flip them. Beautiful burgers. A couple more minutes. Been about a minute and a half. I want to give it another turn. Oh my gosh. And then while we've got this open, because we're so close to being finished, let's go ahead and transfer our beautiful grilled cheese burger tops. And bottoms. And bottoms, that's right. Back to the grill. Oh my gosh. This is going to be awesome. And I almost forgot we need to make a sauce real quick. Not so secret sauce. All right, two Not ingredients. Not so secret. <laughs> little Chipotle, little Thousand Island. It's a Chipotle Thousand Island. It's got smokiness, it's got sweetness. Wow. Little heat. Little heat. All right, sauce is made, that was easy. Let's go ahead and top these burgers with- More little, cheese. Wow, well, a little more cheese, yeah. He's a madman. Good Lord. A little salt and pepper on those maters. And let's start building these sandwiches. All right, so there's our bottoms. I was gonna put a little Sauce, not so secret sauce. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not so secret sauce, bit of bib lettuce. That's pretty. Yeah, it's a, ni it's a nice lettuce. I like it better than romaine or iceberg for, for a burger application. I always put the uh, tomato on the bottom so that when you bite into the burger, the tomato, cold tomato is not what's hitting the top of your, your mouth. All right, let's grab these burgers and slide them on over. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. Wow. A little bit of sauce right on top. My goodness. Yeah, oh my gosh, come on, E. <laughs> Caramelized onions. That's what we forget. Stop it. Oh my God, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Every layer has cheese. <laughs> this was a culinary bucket list item for me, you know? And it took us doing it together for me to actually do it, right? This is, look, look at that. Layer upon layer upon layer. You know, and it's just dripping everywhere. That 8020 is awesome. One of those. The grilled cheese. Like, it, the, yeah, it's one of those that you like, you rate this burger not with stars, but with like grease stains. How many stains. napkins it How took? How many napkins <laughs> it took, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm actually secretly dreading eating this on camera. But look at, look at, the, look at, the, look at the cheese squeeze. Blah. I just had to do that to actually bite into it. Yep. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me shower after this. <laughs> this is awesome. 
I'm telling you team, just keep playing with your food. Have fun with it, right? You gotta eat three times a day, uh, plus or minus, so you might as well make it interesting, make it fun, and have a blast doing it. That's part of the reason I, I love cooking on these Kamado Joe grills. Like every meal is an adventure. Uh, folks, if you enjoyed this burger as much as I just enjoyed that bite, uh, do me a favor, do all the things. Subscribe, like, do leave us a comment, and share this thing, you know? I mean, this is, this is uh, I don't even know what we were gonna do at the beginning of this video, and it turned into being <laughs> Being a grilled cheese Juicy Lucy, double grilled cheese Juicy Lucy Dang. at that. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. As always, from our backyard to yours, cheers and happy grilling.